For you to start drawing, you need to understand how to create basic shapes. For instance, rectangles. So this is your rectangle tool here. And if you click on any tool, you'll see now that it becomes active here. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. To draw a rectangle, all you have to do is click on the work surface and then drag. How do you drag? You just either move your mouse or you just move your hand on your touchpad and then click again. And I'll do that again. Click on the work surface, drag, and then click. Now, another way I'm going to undo, this is the undo button. And then another way to get rid of the objects you have created is to erase. You can choose to erase everything by choosing selecting all and then you just right click. Okay, now I'm going to draw circles. So to draw a circle, all you have to do is click on the surface and drag and then set the dimension by dragging. Click, drag, click, drag. Practice doing that. Now I'm going to erase, uh, I'll select one, click and right click, click and right click, and it will erase. Okay, now I'm going to now draw shapes using measurements. So if I drag now, I'm not going to click again. I'm now going to type. I'll type on my keyboard the dimensions I want. I'll start by typing art, the kind of art you have for your email, art. Then set the width. I'm going to use 10 inches, then comma, the height. I'm going to use 15 inches for the height, then enter. So now, on your keyboard, if you press end, on the left side of your keyboard, that's what's on my keyboard, at the top end, you'll center your drawing on the screen. Now I'm going to draw another rectangle. I'm going to click and drag, but I won't click a second time. On my keyboard, I'm going to type add, and the width of this rectangle will be 20 inches, and comma, then the height is going to be 17 inches. So you can select randomly. So I'll draw another rectangle. This time I'm going to draw a square. I'll type add. I'm going to do 20, comma 20. A square is the same length and the same height. So I'll press end again to center everything on the screen. And then I can erase and select all. So it's going to erase everything. Then I'll right click. Another thing you want to learn to do is draw lines. To draw a line, you select the line here, and then you see the line tool is active. You click on your screen and you can just set a, a line by clicking and then clicking a second time. But you want to set the dimension of your lines. So I'm going to click and I won't click a second time. I'll type on my keyboard. At, uh, I want the length of this line to be 10 inches, comma. I want it to be a straight line, so I'll type zero, so it doesn't have a height. So it will be straight, perfectly straight. So I'll press enter now. Now I'm going to draw another line, but this one will be angled. So I'm not clicking again, but I'm going to type at. I'm going to do 18 inches, comma, three. So it will be at long, 18 inches long, but it will be angled upwards three inches. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'll click and I'll type at, and this line is 20 inches, comma, minus four. So it's angling downwards four inches. So now if you start creating an object, you notice more tools come out for you to use to operate on the object. So now we've drawn shapes, basic shapes. I would like you to just practice joint shapes. Thank you.